you doing here? Okay, back with another not live stream. I'm calling them not live streams because I can't, OBS still crashes when uh, I hit, it starts streaming. So I have to just record the video. It works perfectly recording the videos, um, <clears throat> which normally I just use for packing up the video, you know, backing up my live stream. But now it's my video and then I have to upload them, which is a pain. Uh, I had trouble yesterday and uh, fi uh, Firefox crashed in the middle. I was uploading, mm, 12 videos or something, no, 20 videos, a bunch of, them were, a bunch of short videos, and, uh, and a couple of hour-long ones or something. But anyway, um, I decided while that was happening, while it was uploading, about half done, I decided to uh, reorganize my bookmarks. Well, the stop, you know, the unruly script, uh, slung down your browser thing came up, and it kept coming up. I must have clicked stop and don't ask me again ten times because, you know, normally after two or three times I would just close Firefox and open it back up. Well, it's been happening more lately. I hadn't had that trouble for ever since I built this Fedora 28 system. I really hadn't had that trouble much, but uh, it seems like the longer you use Firefox and uh, I haven't added any new add-ons or anything, but just using it somehow gets, uh, I think make saving bookmarks has something to do with it. Some, I think because what it is is a Java applet or scriptlet that's in your um, <clears throat> somewhere in the Firefox bookmarks folders, you know, that is doing that. Uh, and the crazy thing is it's named Chrome, so-and-so, 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 dot, you know, at the end, JS. That's how I know it's Java, you know. And uh, and I've looked into it over and over before and tried to find the specific things and just delete them. But the only way I've seen, I never did it until last year, you know, how Firefox is always saying, don't you want to, it seems like Firefox ought to be, uh, what do they call it, clean it up, you know refresh it but the thing is you lose your add-ons you got to go and reinstall them um i think it says you'll lose your bookmarks but when i did it i didn't lose my bookmarks but i would back up my bookmarks before i did it for sure but um anyway i don't actually remember i'm pretty sure i lost the add-ons and had to reinstall them i don't have a whole lot now i've learned not to put the more you have the more it slows down your browser so i just have uh, four or six or something, just some of the ones I really need, <clears throat> and like Adblock Plus and stuff like that. But um, anyway, I, I was actually was thought I might make a video on uh, later on, um, you know, refreshing it because I think I'm going to have to do that. But that was a real pain. It ended up taking me all day and all evening, you know, till bedtime to get that finished up and straightened out. I finally, uh, second the second half of the videos, I uploaded them in Chrome just to make sure. Uh, if anything went wrong with Firefox, it wouldn't stop my upload. But Chrome uses so much more resources. It's like that's all I could really have open on the machine during that time was those two applications, you know. <clears throat> so couldn't do anything else, couldn't make videos or do anything, you know. So anyway, um, I'm going to go back to work on the Net Pro Max. But before I start, I wanted to show, I'm going to get over here on the 10-inch tablet, <clears throat> and I'm going to switch over to, over to, Switch over to the wireless mics <clears throat> because I've got, you know, the dual wireless mics now. And uh, I'm going to take one of them, put it over here by, uh, over here if I move, maybe if I move my head, yeah, now you can see. Uh, that is the red black Biostar that I was using as my backup server. Well, when the power went out the other day <clears throat> and everything shut down and then I went to turn it back on, it actually wasn't set to turn itself back on because it's ne not normally a server and I didn't even think about doing that. It uh, the the fans have been kind of making intermittent noise and they get kind of loud and then get quieter. So I thought, oh boy, there's one a fan giving trouble. Well, it just started squealing like crazy, like and you could tell it was something. It was trying to start but it couldn't, and it just kept doing that. It sounded like it was just going eat 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 eat, you know, a little bit at a time. <clears throat> I mean, I've seen that with motors and fans enough times to know that sound over the years, and just of all types, you know. So anyway. I thought I would turn it back on, and am I, I was kind of thinking maybe once the thing, you know, the bear, bushings and bearings in it cooled down, maybe they would work again. So I thought I'd turn it back on and see, because when I, I don't need that very often, but some, it's got a lot of my old backups on it, and sometimes I really need either the backups or some of the programs that are no longer, they're on Fedora 14, that are no longer available uh, <clears throat> in Fedora. So um, let me get my mic, one of them. Okay. And uh, whatever I can get, 
I'll get up out of the chair and uh, I'll put the I, I know the side of it's where we're going to hear it the best so I put it around there and I kind of thought it looked like this there's a, a red you know with the red LED lights a fan with red LED lights on the side and those red lights in the front and it looked like it wasn't spinning so I thought it might be the one so anyway let's turn it on so far so good So, <clears throat> whichever one it is, it's just been running for, you know, two months about, I think. Month and a half, two months, I guess it just, there it goes. Now let's see if I can see. Really, the best thing to do, but since that fan, I don't want to, to overdraw the power supply. I'm, I'm wired to my lapel mic, so that'd be <clears throat> I don't want to um, <laughs> cause you know electrical problems in the machine by make, letting it sit there, keeping on trying to run. I don't like shutting them down, a hard shutting them down in the middle of booting up, but. I've hardly ever hurt Fedora, um, Fedora, I mean Linux systems, so. Famous last words, but anyway. Um, I know I've done it many times over the years to that particular system. So anyway, uh, yeah, I, it, I could see that fan when I was getting looking around the corner there, and I could see the blades moving very slowly. Um, so, you know, normally you just see kind of a blur. So I could actually see the blade, you know, sort of like whenever somebody makes a video of a airplane, you know, with a prop on it and you can see that prop. It was kind of like that. So, um, now I've got <clears throat> problems. I'm gonna get on the desktop here and we'll switch to the SM50. Okay, sorry, I had uh, to take care of my nose. <laughs> so I thought that's a good time to do that. All right, so um, now, um, so I'm pretty sure it's that fan, so at least now I know that. <laughs> and I love the, the red lights and the red fan on that thing. Uh, that's why I like that box. So uh, maybe I'll have to go see if I can find another red fan that's not too expensive. Because I don't have any. I don't think I have any. Any more fans that are good? Um, that I, I'm gonna have a couple of. That's an 80 millimeter fan. I have a couple 80 millimeter fans that work, but I'm really getting tired of putting old, you know, reason old fans, cleaning them up and reason them, and then have them work for a couple of months to six months or even a year. It's just a pain in the butt when they they always go down at the worst time. So uh, we may just. Of course, the thing is now when you buy new stuff. I'm zooming in on that so that, uh, and I think I will darken that a little bit so that you can see the screen when there's a lot of white on the screen. You can see better what's going on there. Okay, that's how I zoom in. <clears throat> the IP webcam app has that feature. You go to the IP of it and the, with, with port 8080 and you can control a lot of the functions on the IP webcam app. It's pretty cool. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let's go to the server. It's been running. It's just It is my server again. Let's see. I don't know if I remember the password or not. We'll see. If I d didn't, then I'll... Oh, I've got it out right in front of me. I did remember it. I've been using it lately. So... Um, Make sure I don't have a desktop audio is working. I don't have a, uh, <clears throat> you know, I can't just click on my laptop and see if everything's okay. 
<clears throat> because I'm not streaming. <clears throat> okay, so um, I don't usually pay a lot. Well, I know one thing. This works that machine the, the machine pretty hard just leaving it on that, so I wouldn't leave it on this unless you've got a pretty... Something much more powerful than a single core. It's a 2.8 gigahertz single core Celeron processor with 2 gig of RAM. That's what the Net Pro Max has, <coughs> Intel. So, um, anyway, I wouldn't leave it on there real long. <coughs> Let's look at the logs and see if anything's happened. It should have done an update. <coughs> I guess you have to look in the updates area. The only two things it has, yeah, looks like when did it? 21st. Yes, yeah, see that would have been today. So it's rebooted itself. I guess it reboots after. Well, I guess it reboots only if there are updates. So there must have been updates this morning at 3 a.m. And on the 20th, it rebooted. It only has the two large on the DHC client file and then the hardware monitoring sensor system. D. That that's. I don't think that the hardware it's trying to monitor is even in this machine. That's what I think. Um, that one had the same error twice there. This DC DHC client. Oh, it says reboot right there. There we go. Reboot, reboot. So, I guess there wasn't a reboot this morning. Now that now that I pay attention to what I'm seeing here, maybe I did a reboot and then later. Yeah, I think that was last time I worked on it. When was it the twentieth? I didn't work on it yesterday. I worked on it the nineteenth. I think. <clears throat> rebooted twice maybe it needed to but um let's see let's look at the <coughs> looking for the updates section there it is and what it'll do though is sit there and check for updates and sometimes that takes a couple of minutes a few minutes so we'll see if it's going to take too long i think if you click off of it it just stops it from doing it till you can't come back you know Let's hang on for a minute here. And, uh, <clears throat> I mean, it seems to be doing just fine. It's just humming right along. It's kind of loud. It makes heat. But uh, it's actually not as near as annoying when I'm in bed as trying to sleep as the red, because the red, black, but I'll start sort of making noise. Sometimes that fan was making noise, and it would get better and worse and better and worse. Plus, I could hear that side uh, vent on that thing, and it's closer to me, like another three, four feet closer to me, so with really not anything to block the sound either. The Net Pro Max is on the right of my monitor what, from me sitting looking at the computer, and it's got a big old cardboard box full of TRS-80 uh, software and books, and then the and then the Red Black Battlestar itself, all that to reflect the sound. So uh, It's actually louder sitting here at my chair than anywhere else because <clears throat> I'm over here closer to it. But, so it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, but the reason I wasn't running it is because the, uh, I thought it had a broken kernel update. Okay, let's see what we got. It's up to date. Okay. Which I figured that. Uh, it had a broken um, kernel update, but I think it actually, what it turned out to be, from what I read online yet, last time I worked on it, I think it was a, a grub <clears throat> bug in, in the grub update. And I know it wasn't a broken kernel because I found a command that said check for any broken applications, and I ran that, and it, nothing was broken. So I still want to, and so I manually ran updates and rebooted, and then it it boots perfectly. It doesn't. What it was doing was hey, the new it had a new kernel, and actually when I ran those updates, it got another new kernel. So now there's three kernels in it. But, the original one, the second one that wouldn't boot, and then the one that's running on right now. And I do want to reboot it and see if that second one that wouldn't boot is fixed now, <clears throat> just out of curiosity. Um, but uh, <coughs> first I want to try to, uh, my main thing, what I want now is a graphic boot screen to get that working. <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to go back to some of my links from the last time I worked on it. <coughs> I think I stirred up dust banging on the side of that. <clears throat> I wasn't even thinking about that. <clears throat> banging on the side of it, trying to... I, I used to do that. You could bang on the side of it. Uh, sometimes it used to make noise because it's a plexiglass side, 
and it would just rattle. Well, and it's cracked. It came correct. Um, and uh, I actually, they gave me another. That's how come I have that box. I'm, I actually was building a machine for my mom, and that box came with a crack. Just all the way up from one corner to the other, cracked. And uh, so they sent me a new case and said to keep that one. And so I had a case in a power supply. I had bought, you know, a kit with a case and, you know, parts to build a machine. And um, so that gave me a neat case. Um, and, you know, where it's set and you can't really see that cracked side anyway, so it didn't bo- hasn't ever bothered me. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay. Anyway. I think bang, banging on the sometimes the case side would rattle, and uh, I even put some screws in it to try to stop that. I was real careful and drilled some holes in the plexiglass and then the metal and put some sheet metal screws in there. It helped, but it never got completely. It would not quit. And what it'll do is rattle and not rattle, rattle and not rattle. And so if you bang on it sometimes or push on it, it'll quit for a while <laughs> anyway. So, but you know, of course, if sometimes if a fan is just kind of maybe gummed up with dirt and stuff and dust, maybe banging on it will just knock it loose and it'll work again for a day or two, you know. So that's, I did that, but it didn't, uh, didn't help. It, that bearing, pushing or bearing is either gone or, well, it may just be so dirty. Sometimes, um, actually, I've just, people, they tout how wonderful it is to have real roller bearings and fans these days. They're always saying, you know, they'll last forever. Well, they're all going to wear out. Uh, and I've got some old fans with roller bearings in them. Well, they're wore out, and there ain't no fixing them. Now, the ones with bushings, with uh, brass or copper bushings, whichever it is they're using, I think it's might be brass. It would be good if it's brass. But anyway, <clears throat> you can uh, take the fan all apart and clean it really well. You can't just spray it with, you know, WD-40 or Rust Buster or whatever. Um, you've got to uh, get something, get something like that and then... Actually, all you need is just to roll up a piece of paper towel. Um, I wouldn't use sand, like, I mean, even if you use 500 grit sandpaper, that would probably scuff it up too much because that's such soft metal and make it actually grab more. Uh, I, that's why I didn't do that. That's my thinking. Anyway, something that's small enough to go through there, uh, what I would do is take, you know, roll the end up of a paper towel up and then stick something small enough to go in there, like a very small Phillips screwdriver, and shove it through there. And you'd be surprised how well that cleans it out after you've sprayed it with. Usually, actually, WD-40 seems to be the best. I'll, Rust Buster is a better cleaner, but I'm afraid of what it might do to the motor and might even make the glue let go inside of there or something. So uh, I don't remember. I think I finally did try using it on one of the fans this last year that I was desperate to make work. But WD-40, though, it's more of a cleaner than a... It's really not a lubricant. People always use WD-40 on the YouTube videos to clean up fans. and Yeah, they work for a couple of days to a month, and then they're back like they were again most of the time. <clears throat> but uh, something that... Don't use lithium, that white lithium. That gets... As soon as it uh, dries up, it gets gooey as it can be and makes them five times worse than they were when you started. And it's heck to clean out of. Um... So I ha- I think yeah I did try Rust Buster and actually I really didn't see other than it maybe being a better cleaner it's for rust though you know it's not for electrical parts electrical cleaner works until it dra- it cleans them good but then you still need something to lubricate those old worn fans uh, because the- I've tried just using electrical cleaner and it doesn't uh, last even as long as WD-40 you know the the, the effects don't last as long as WD-40. I don't know why I'm just going on and on about fans while I'm supposed to be doing this. but uh, Okay, I can't do more than one thing at a time either. So, Okay, um, yeah, here we go. 20, 40, 429 server, log into XFCE desktop. Actually, I think I have stuff about made in there too, maybe. Maybe I don't. Well, I guess I just got... <coughs> okay, so... Um, Let's see if that's the one. Switching desktop environments. I don't think it's the one I wanted. <coughs> <coughs> oh, this is the one I wanted. <clears throat> okay, so what I did was install. Um, no, I didn't install KDE. I want KDE. 
using the GUI. Okay, this is um, the. It doesn't look exactly like Fedora twenty eight, but anyway, it's a newer. Maybe it's from KDE or something. I don't know, but see, you got KDE and G I think it's Genome three is what I think it is. What it looks to me like, I think it's a Genome. Well, if you had Genome three as your default. Uh, desktop and then you install KDE. I think this is what that screenshot is from. Because that's what they were saying up there above. The part I skipped is how to install. Actually, it's got oh, available groups. And by the way, yeah, this is this is the easiest way to install uh, desktops completely in here and, and many other groups. It's do DNF group, uh, group list V uh, and then you'll see uh, some available groups and you see what they're looking for is the desktops <coughs> and uh, so they installed KDE right there and uh, there's a couple of different ways to write the syntax sometimes that one with the a a ampersand in front actually doesn't work I've seen it not work um, can't remember the way when I build my scripts I use what's considered the what's it's the newer way this was the original older way and then there's a newer way where I think all you do is just put uh, quotation marks don't use the ampersand put quotation marks at the beginning and the end of the group name <laughs> um, can't remember for sure I'd have to look you'd have to look that up but uh, if you have trouble with that look at look up you know and do a little more research on it I have videos on it by the way several Showing how to showing it happened, just you'd have to find the right spot in my long videos. Um, okay, so this is what I'm wanting is not necessarily genome. I don't want genome three. I have XFCE and and Mate desktop on this system. I installed Mate really just hoping that it would there would be some. It would just fix it, you know, just make it show up, but it didn't. Then I went during my research. I found out that it there may the problem may not be to do with. Uh, I thought maybe I didn't have all the Plymouth uh, applications installed, or Plymouth or Plymouth, which are boot, uh, the boot screen applications, but I did. Uh, <clears throat> install and make desktop didn't add anything or make it work. Um, and what I found out is that there's actually problems on Fedora's uh, server with some of the uh, themes, the boot themes not working. So, uh, and actually, I saw a post where they said, all I see is three dots, and then, and then I don't get my boot screen. And I'll like, oh, that's what I'm seeing. So um, I changed the the theme to something else, and uh, that just reminded me I, I may want to try a, a different theme. And they said uh, they were all going back and forth on these forums. Try this theme, try that theme, you know. And so I tried the one that's just the normal one you usually have with Fedora Server. It's just a, bl a, bl a blue and white or whatever bar that progress bar, and it works. But I still don't get the 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 login. A GUI login you have to type start X and all I get when I type start X is XFCE and I was going back here <clears throat> to see if there's like there are some more commands down here but this is what I did last time this is the al alternatively you could install switch de switch desk and switch desk GUI packages so that's what I did I ran that right there and installed both of them and uh, you should get something like this where you a chooser you get a desktop switcher but I didn't get that um, so then it says switching desktop uh, using the CLI so before you start uh, install the desired desktop environment as described DNF install switch disk which I already did okay and then switch disk and then pass the selected environment as the only argument to the switch disk command for example okay switch disk KDE so I guess I would do switch disk mate or, or XFCE. Switch desk. That's the thing I'm going to have to. I probably won't remember it right when I want to do it because I can't do it. I can't do that remotely. I was thinking I could, but I can't do that remotely because I have to wait for it to uh, have to catch it um, after it's booted up. Well, wait. Yes, I can. <clears throat> it's already booted up, and I, and I don't have the desktop running, so I can do that. Okay. So let's read the rest of this. Let's see. Alternatively, edit etc sys uh, config desktop as root. 
This file specifies desktop for new users and display manager to run when entering run mobile file. Oh, okay. Correct values are. Oh, okay. Desktop value. Display manager. Genome KDE XDM. <clears throat> I wonder if it didn't work because, see, they're not mentioning mate or XFCE here. I wonder if this doesn't even work for the little thing I installed. Well, let's go look in that file. I don't know if I'll be able to copy and paste it in there, but. <clears throat> We'll go over here and start uh, Midnight Commander. And let's see. I think there's a way to, yeah, right here. Let's see if I can paste in there. Make sure I don't have any extra spaces or anything. Did it go there? I don't think so. Well, at least I can read it from there. Well, I'll just read it from where, it's, where I got it from. ETC sysconfig desktop. Okay, I should be able to do that. ETC sys. Oh, it doesn't do that. You can't type and go there. I forget about that. <clears throat> this is not Crusader. This is Midnight Commander. Sysconfig. And yes, I've forgotten. Sysconfig desktop. Okay. And if I could spell really well on top, I could probably type desktop and get it that way. But, but maybe not. Didn't get it. I'm still in sysconfig. Does it even have a des sysconfig desktop folder? sure everything's not sometimes it doesn't put things in alphabetical order it doesn't have sysconfig desktop folder um, <clears throat> let's go back again egz sysconfig desktop oh it, it must be a file yeah it's not a folder, it's a file. Still don't see any see it though. So that must be our one of our our, our problem right there. Why wow, that's not working. S Y S C O N F I G S Y S C O N F I G yeah, that's a file, not a folder. <clears throat> okay. Usually, there's, there's, if there's a file extension, I expect it to be, you know, if it's a file, I expect it to be. But they don't all have file extensions. There's no desktop folder either. So, yeah, there's some fold, only folders right there. So, I am missing something in the configuration here. I suppose I could make me a desktop file. <clears throat> let's just try it out and see if it would work. Let's do switch disk. And then I'll do mate. Because I know I can do G, uh, XFCE. Let's do F10 to get out of this app. Yeah. Okay. Now. It doesn't always want to play nice with pasting. Okay. sure I don't have a space there. Oh no, desktop request. Okay. So it may that app may not work with Okay, moving root 
to root. Okay, warning. Moving root. Action right to root. Switch disk. Now set up. Uh oh, I hope I didn't screw things up. Let's copy that. I might have to try and fix that. It's changed the configuration now. <clears throat> but if it makes that, at least if that will work, that'll be good. Okay. But I'm going to get over here and make me a file about that. I guess I could have done it in, uh, in that machine. I think I have a folder for the Net Pro Max over here on my machine too. <clears throat> yeah. You gotta when you copy and paste out of that you need to do unformatted text out of that too. Yeah. Okay, what I want is there. Definitely, when you see a warning, you better hang on to that. You better, better, because you might need it. No, I'll just let it be an ODF file. <clears throat> now, I'm going to close that because I need to not have too much running. My system. Now, um... We'll go ahead and reboot the system and see if it brings up the manager, this switch desk manager. If it does, we'll go from there. If it doesn't, <coughs> we'll go from there. <coughs> okay. Um, so I'm going to reboot it over there on the machine, I think, yeah. Because I want to get on the tablet view so that, you know, we, you can see what I see. Oh, I wish I wouldn't have <coughs> stirred up dust. <coughs> All right, now, let's see. Can't reboot without being... Oh, yeah. Got to log in. Now then, reboot. <clears throat> I think I better get me a cough drop. So while it's rebooting, I'll get me a cough drop. <clears throat> Yeah, I want to try that second kernel. Well, not now, but or the next to the newest. Newest is on top by default. Now there's my theme that I chose. Just a little bar. White, yeah, white and blue, blue and white, whichever way you want to say it. This is Fedora 29 on the bottom right corner. Which was the it was the default team boot theme for Fedora 29 on, on Fedora 23, 
that's the way it was after I installed uh, Mate and XFCE desktops on it. But uh, that could be also, there's been some bugs I've seen, well, over the years, actually, with the uh, themes. <clears throat> so I may want to try a different theme. That might have been all I needed to do to make it work with the Plymouth bootloader. I, now what I've done is switch from Plymouth bootloader to this uh, other one that I installed the other day. Okay, so it didn't bring anything up. <clears throat> you still going to have to type start X. That's probably just going to go straight into, uh, let's see, what was it, switch desk. See, what happens if you just type switch desk? Oh, why is it asking me to log in again? Oh, of course, because I haven't logged in yet. Can't start running commands till you log in. Incorrect. Okay, now then. Switch desk. Please specify one of the either Plasma, Genome, XFCE, FVM, ISM, or Widowmaker. Never heard of Widowmaker. So it doesn't work with Mate. Okay. But it's already on XFCE, so. Now it's set to be the default, which, which was already, I already had that. <laughs> this did nothing for me. Widowmaker. Hmm. Start X. So it should just start up XFCE. Um, <clears throat> which is, I already had that going anyway. And, and what I did last time, see, I have a, there's default, which I think would just be my Dawn username, I'm pretty sure. And then there's Dawn that I put in there. There was only one option there, either or two, a logout or a new session. And that's after you type start X. And so you can either use use your up and down arrow keys, but you got to be over it. If you're not over it, it doesn't work. Or you can use your mouse wheel. I want to see what happens when I do default. I know Dawn went to Dawn. Let's see if this goes to root or Dawn. I don't think I needed to add that Dawn. I was just hoping that would make it. Uh, <clears throat> I just want I just didn't I just want to see what it would do. <laughs> and that's what it did. It logged me into Dawn. So let's see. Yeah. Now this is root. Okay, so default is root. I can just barely see it there. It's not actually fitting the screen perfectly. Some kind of problem. Let's see what the problem is. <clears throat> so default is root and then dawn is dawn. So yeah, I would actually want to be logging in as dawn almost every time. So that's a good thing that I did that. These, these are problem reporting deals say it actually there's zero it does that sometimes it did that in um, just regular desktop fedora too it just says there's a problem and then when you try to click on the report a problem there's no problems to report so I don't know what's going on with that looks like the problem was with the desktop though there's no background or anything there so um The searcher seems to work. Desktop switcher. Let's see what we got here. Desktop switcher. I believe that is the app that I just used. And um, we've got XFCE and then system default. Change only applies to current display. Okay. 
Um, <clears throat> if I can get a screenshot of that. I've got to tell it where to go. Oh, I haven't ever taken a screenshot in here. Can't type. This is in root though, so I, I don't usually hardly ever log into root, so I'm not going to change anything there. So, um, desktop switcher, background, parents, KRFB. I could do a remote desktop, but I think I don't. I don't think it, I'm not going to stay in here that long, so I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> uh, desktop, Grub. I don't have any Grub, grub uh, apps. I'm just, this is only searching for graphic user apps. Boot. Okay. So I don't have any, I haven't installed, you know, I don't have any, I didn't get any with any of what I've only, I haven't installed any extra you know, stuff other than what came with XFCE and Mate. Um, so I'm going to change the, what I'm, well, the thing that I'm worried about now is how can I change back the boot chooser? <laughs> it may not, it still may not have, oh, let's look at themes, yeah. That's not the kind of theme I was looking at. Um, found it a minute ago when I wasn't looking for it. I don't know what's going on. Let's go in here. Settings. I said I wouldn't be in here long, and now I'll be in here forever. I don't see look and feel. That's what it is. And door. Oh, appearance and look and feel. But I just thought of something else. Um, I saw... session and startup let's see what's going on with that automatically save session splash none oh I've been in here but I don't know if I was in here as root actually I guess I did all that as root because I was going until just the other day I was just using default which is root I guess so uh I already I, I remember the last last time I was working on it I saw I looked through this in great detail so I should kind of look over it again though make sure I didn't miss something mate settings demon I wonder if that needs to be running in mate it does. Okay, yeah, I don't have any screensavers running or anything like that. I usually don't have automatically saved session on logout, but it could be different in XFCE. I'm going to leave it for now because. Okay, now let's look in appearance, but well, that's really not going to. I'll look. When it has to do with the boot, it's going to be something to do, you know, something to do with the boot or the uh, log on or something like that. Log on window. I've already been there a hundred times. Looking there a hundred and one times. Make sure I'm not remembering this wrong. Yeah. 
There's nothing in here that will make it work. I do have an automatic log on. Yeah, it didn't ask me for a password because I set up, uh, well, in Dawn it doesn't. Oh, it didn't in root either. Well, because I was already logged in in the, in the terminal window. I wonder if the automatic log on is causing that not to show the, the you know, the log on screen. But normally you would have a log on screen and you would see it come up and then it would just sit there for a minute and then go ahead and log in. Or you could change it and pick a different user. Okay. Well, appearance, I don't think has anything to do with any of that by looking there anyway. This is XFCE, not mate. You got to remember that. So, okay, yeah, this is just the desktop icons and all that stuff. Fedora icon theme. Yeah. Okay, so um, can't think of how to. I want to make sure I don't have remote desktop automatically starting as a user root. Oh, it is. Let's turn that off. Because you don't want to share your desktop as a root. There we go. <clears throat> I had turned it on to work on it, you know. But uh, I would really, I would, normally I would... I, Unless I just flat can't do what I need to do, I'll work on it in Dawn, and then, you know, it'll ask you for the root uh, password whenever you want to do things. Yeah, see, that was sitting there running. Desktop sharing was already running. And you know what's crazy is that has not been working in other um, systems. Well, I didn't try logging in. What I have to do is turn it on every time is what I'm saying. But this is, it's running. <laughs> so. Now. Um, I'm going to put it back into the. I'm going to reboot it again. And try mate again. But. Um, <clears throat> I think I installed Mate Desktop. What if I never installed it and I just think I did? I'm sitting there saying all this particular app I chose doesn't, you know, doesn't use Mate Desktop and all that stuff. It doesn't work with it, but I better look at my installed apps and make sure that I do actually have Mate Desktop. Uh, yeah. Pretty, I'm almost certain I installed it. Before we do that, let's go ahead and try that second kernel, that other kernel. Oops. Oh, it's still broken. I'll be darned. So the new one's not broken, and this one is broken. So what I'm going to do is turn on the uh, camera app here on this phone that I use for my audio. I'll take a picture of that. Now there might be, I don't like having that on there, but there's a way I'm pretty sure to um, get rid of that kernel. Try a macro shot too, just to see if that's better. I 
sometimes it's best to get the brightest spots out of there put it back on automatic because if I don't leave it on automatic I will I'm be in macro next time and that would be bad for me okay now let's make sure my audio is still serving up yep that's something I hadn't figured out for a long time you know if you leave the app where it's in the window then you can accidentally close it which didn't happen to me too much but it has happened finally one day I think I accidentally hit the uh, middle button I forgot what it's called and that minimized the app but didn't stop it from running so <clears throat> I was now I do that on purpose every time I have these wires kind of set just so to keep them out of my way when I'm getting to my mouse. They don't want to cooperate. All right, so this uh, this message that I'll keep, kernel panic, not syncing, VVF, VFS, unable to mount the root FS on unknown block, OO, swapper, not tainted, I'm just kind of skipping around. I'm skipping words now. Hardware name system manufacturer. Bunch of, you know, kernel information. And then kernel, kernel panic not syncing VFS unable to mount root FS on unknown block OO. Okay, so that's what the error is. I don't think control alt delete even works in that when it's like that. I just remembered, and that thing's not running. My websites are down. I don't. <clears throat> I don't really have it. I don't even have anything I can run as a backup, though. Well, I don't like it, but I don't have anything else to do right now. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Okay, let's put it back up. Now, um, I'm going to go back on my, my machine. <clears throat> and, uh, well, it sure got bright in here. Okay, so I'm going to reconnect to it and try to do whatever, you know, whatever... I, want to do I'll try to do it remotely on them so I can see it but you know see the video better <clears throat> yes even when you when you log in on a remote terminal you're still not logged in on the local machine <clears throat> so I, and I guess I was kind of was making I was forgetting that because you know, I'd already been logged in. But, uh, well, the, some, the thing is, well, it showed uh, Genome K. It, it did, this instructions page did, doesn't show mate, but it also showed like four, about six different desktops, two I hadn't even, one I hadn't even, one I hadn't even heard of. So it does support more than just Genome KDE and XDM. 
I think those are just examples then. And that file, I bet, is there now. Let's go to the folder now. Where is that folder? Since I uh, forgot what I did. <clears throat> oh, I started up the app. I just started up the app, and then it says, uh, oh, when did I, I did it over here. But anyway, it said warning, changing the, the uh, config file over to this app's folder. So, uh, I'm not commander. Um, etc. Sysconfig. A lot of folders in etc. Now let's see if we have desktop. Yeah, sysconfig desktop. There's no desktop file here. No desktop folder there. <clears throat> Let's look again. ETC, sysconfig desktop. So it should be sysconfig folder. We're in there. ETC, sysconfig. And then it should be a file named desktop. And there is no file named desktop. But it seems to be working on the machine when you're over there on it. So, <clears throat> it must not be, uh, those instructions must not be right for Fedora, for Fedora um, 29, evidently, even though this is a Fedora uh, docs page. <clears throat> Okay, now, um, how can I quickly find out? Make darn sure I haven't, you know, forgotten that, uh, make sure I have made desktop installed. <clears throat> there should be commands to list desktops. Um, List available desktop environments. Let's try group V hidden, and then it may tell me whether or not they're installed. Yeah, I've got a, a saved paper installed groups. Yeah, it'll go ahead and tell me the installed groups at the bottom of it. So let's get out of in that commander again. <coughs> something odd going on there don't we what is all that hmm unknown configuration value okay now, available groups, oops, I can't page up and down there. I think maybe I can roll them, yeah, I can roll the mouse wheel, okay. Install groups, administration tools, editors, headless management, made applications, okay. Office productivity, RPM development, sound and video, system tools, tech space, internet. Oh, I don't see anything about... Available groups. Window managers. Hmm. <coughs> Let's see. What do we got up here? Available environment groups. Okay. What is all, all those errors up there? Are we still on? We're on the desktop. Mike's working. Okay. Unknown configuration value, failover method, priority, TCM, repos, D. Oh. Fedora, Cisco. Oh. 
Why is that unknown? That's a default for Firefox. Or is it Firefox? Anyway, that's a default thing nowadays. Fedora, Cisco, Open 264. That's for playing video. Hmm. Does not list. Huh. Yum repos. I don't know why that's like that. I didn't install a bunch of fancy stuff, you know. I didn't do a whole bunch of group installs this time. <clears throat> Just the basic stuff. I'm sure there's a lot of errors in that. Well, I don't know about all those little error things, but available environmental groups. Custom operating system, minimal install. Workstation, cloud server, X, KDE, LXDE, LXQ, Cinnamon, Sugar, development web server. Of course, I've already installed all that, though. Uh, <clears throat> a lot. I mean, all of that, but the web server and stuff like that. Infrastructure, basic, desktop. Installed environment groups. Okay. There we go. Fedora Server Edition, XFCE, Mate Desktop. And then, so they, I didn't know, I skipped past that because I didn't see that. They installed groups, and I read those all along. Available groups. See if any of those sound like they would help. Ansible. I wanted to learn Ansible, but boy, that's hard. You can remotely administrate. Well, I mean, they use it in, you know, production server farms, you know. I mean, but you could do a few or a thousand, you know, uh, remote administration of machines. Like you could update them, install, you could do uh, operating systems, you could do all kinds of cool things with it. But setting it up is really complicated. <clears throat> you have to learn a whole new way of editing all these files and stuff. And, I mean, you have you have to learn the whole system, I'll just put it that way. And it's not like what I've been working with, so. Nothing to do with any desktops that I see. So let's see if we can... Oh, there we go. Didn't get it all, though. We didn't get it all. It's not getting it at all. It's just getting, like, what's shown in the window. Let's see if I start at the top. It won't. Uh, there we go. I just barely roll my mouse wheel and making that work. Okay. So I want all that copied and put into a file. <clears throat> that I want to know. Okay, so the Mate Desktop is there. So I'm going to go back to Themes. Because maybe that is it. Put me a couple of spaces in there and paste unformatted text. Now. Oh, it didn't get it all. Just got a little bit of it. Oh, I hate that. Okay, well, um, all I really want out of there, whoops, is uh, installed groups. That's the main thing I want. Oh, how strange. So let's get that out of there. It's not so important to work really, really hard at getting it all. So well, I keep clicking in the wrong place. 
I do want that. I would like to have those errors, but let's see if I can get those. I don't think it will do it, but we'll see. Yeah, forgot to do unformatted text. Okay. Did that get it all? No. There, you, you can only copy just the smallest amount out of that window. I don't know why. I guess that's how much you can copy right there. Let's see what happens when I do that. <clears throat> Yep, we see exactly how much you can get. So, um, might go ahead. Failover does not. Let's see. Whoops, I shouldn't have rolled it. Now I've lost my spot. Oh, failover does not. Okay. Exist. Yeah. I think, let's see if we can get that much. It's getting kind of crazy here. Oh, I did. I miss. I did that. Oh. Oh, you always do control V for pasting. You don't normally. Normally, just like I just did the same thing over and over again. Something it's different information though. Okay, we'll try it again. Failover does not exist. Whoops. Lost my place again, didn't I? Okay, it's not worth that much trouble. Okay, so main thing I wanted out of that was what I have installed in the way of groups. <clears throat> That's not all the apps, of course, on the on the machine, just the groups. But um, clear it out so I won't have so much stuff in there. Um, okay, now let's go over here and look at. So I've got my desktop installed, but this this app evidently just despite doesn't support Mate. I'm switching to Mate. I don't know why. And I don't also don't know why that file's not there. Alternatively, let's see. Or you can just type the command. So it's really no sense and, and I already tried that and it said no, it can't 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 do K, uh, mate, so. Or you can edit this file, but so there's no point in messing with that file. The it's it's actually way be way easier just to type switch desk, you know, and the desktop you're trying to switch to. Okay, now. Um, the themes. Oh, here it is, Plymouth Bootloader. Okay, there's one about it being broken. <clears throat> Let's see what that says about Plymouth. Oh, okay. This is the this is what Fedora uses by default: the Plymouth or Plymouth boot up system. That says Fedora ten. 
Heading or HDBO grub command line directs plum out to load the appropriate plugin for your hardware. That's why it's talking about all that VG uh VESA drivers and all that up door ten. This is the uh, probably a much newer article, yeah. January nineteenth, eighteen. Okay, let's find out what they're saying. The fault theme is called charge. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, and you see the little balloon. Changing the theme. Okay, well, we'll try that. Showing what I was think. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> what themes are available? So let's get a list of the themes. I think I have a several in mind. Okay. Over here. Come on. There you go. Okay, I've got charge. Detail, solar, spinifity, spinner, text, and trybar. Trybar, I believe, is what I'm using. We'll get off of that. Okay, and uh, you can also use your chili to check what is the current thing. There we go. You have to left click right there where the white blinking cursor is it's not a cursor but the blinking box and then maybe if you're lucky when you when you right click you'll get maybe you don't click right on it now it's going nuts on me all right so if all else fails you can do what i'm not used to doing and go up there and use the edit menu <laughs> it'll work and hit enter yeah try bar is what i'm using Okay, change the theme to trybar, which is what I did. Okay, and note that the R flag will rebuild your initrid, and the next time you reboot your system, you will see the new theme in action. So I don't need sudo because I'm logged in as root, but I'll just copy that, and then I'll change it to one of the themes, one of the other themes. More themes in Fedora repo, spinner, that's not much. Okay. I like that one, Spinifity. I think I'm going to try that one. I don't like the hot dog. I just That's just irritating looking to me. It's always been on the installer. It keeps, you know, sitting there moving around and stuff. <laughs> I just don't like it. I don't know. Uh, I just don't think that a hot dog ought to have arms and legs. I mean, that's something that you eat, and I don't want to think of eating something that's some kind of little <laughs> thing with arms and legs. <laughs> So there. Okay, so I want to try Spinifity. Yeah, Spin, Spin, uh, Spin, Finity, Spin Finity, S P I N F I N I T Y. All right. Now let's change it to, oops, am I not going to be able to get back up there and edit that? It's not letting me edit it. Won't let me do anything. Well, I guess I'll hit enter because I can't get out of it. But I need to change that to what I want. I'll use that as a way to be able to edit my command, the search bar up there. And oh, there's the command right there. I don't need to install it, it's already there. So all I need is. If I would have been paying attention, I would have not had any trouble. It's infinity. That's the old theme that they used to use for years, and I always liked it. Now, it's still working. I don't know if it's wise to run this command back to back. It shouldn't hurt, I wouldn't think. I don't know. I might ought to reboot first. I don't want to get 
getting into trouble. It's sure working hard, isn't it? Look at that. It's taking a while to do it. I heard the hard drive rattling, too. <clears throat> so it was working. Wait, have to be patient and wait. <clears throat> there it is. It's finally done. Okay. Uh, I'm going to reboot it because I'm a little scared of just doing it twice in a row. I don't, I, I don't know one way or the other, but sometimes when you tell it to do something that's reconfiguring things and then you don't, you know, it, the whole point is that when you reboot, you get that theme, and so I'm going to reboot it. Could have rebooted it from over there, but because now I got to log in. Sometimes I can type good and fast, and sometimes I can't. So <clears throat> lately I've been more shy about trying to type things that are the heart. My password's hard to type on purpose. <laughs> um, now it should just be the tr the bar that I've had already. But I'm still going to go back over there and do it on the remote admin because I couldn't type that. I couldn't remember or type that long command. It's not that long, but I couldn't do it. It'd be it'd just be simpler anyway. I mean, yeah, I wonder about trying to. I won't worry about that right now, but I would like to get rid of that broken kernel and see if I can delete it. There's no point in it. Be, the reason you, you leave them in there is to uh, uh, have something to fall back on if something's broken and it's you know that saved me when that got broken the previous kernel being there was i was still able to boot the machine and work on it and everything otherwise you got to fix it well you can what you all the only other thing you can do is boot to a live you know fedora iso and then work on it from there but that can get really hard because this you can't, uh, the system's not running, so you can't run any commands directly on the system. You can basically just, like, use a file manager to edit files and delete files and stuff like that. And I have fixed, uh, back when I used to use the proprietary uh, video drivers, and they would break on a kernel update because they, there wasn't a new one that was compatible out yet from the manufacturer, I would... Uh, <coughs> I figured out how to fix it pretty quickly after after it happened in enough time. But I would uh, I would log in with Crusader with SSH and uh, and edit the file the, ET, the the X11 files and stuff. And that was actually not too hard once I found out how to do it. Okay, so we're back on the desktop. Now we got to reconnect again. <clears throat> yeah, so we're going to change to uh, Infinity. Okay. I'm going to end up having to take a break pretty soon. I've been washing clothes today. I've got one load done on the bed waiting for me to fold them, and the other one's in the dryer, so I'll have two loads, but then I'll be done other than folding them. But I have to do that. I can't go to bed till I get them off the bed <laughs> tonight. Got a little bit earlier start working on stuff today than I have been lately. So it's only 4.30, and I'm well into working on this that's good usually by the time I have to have a break it's time to quit anyway but it's not time to quit yet well all that's blinking let's look down through here I don't think there's really anything else to yeah that's the end of the post 
And I mean, I'm just really, I didn't try to charge because I figured that's the default and it was, it was just getting those three dots. So that meant it wasn't working. That's what I read on another, some of those uh, other articles. And I just went by what I liked, what, uh, you know, I didn't like the, uh, that other black looking one, black background with just a little white spinning thing. That's just ugly. So, um, of course, maybe there's no blue. Well, that's probably not an image that blue. It's probably actually the color blue set, you know, digitally and stuff to it. So, okay, it's done. So let's get over here and reboot again. Tenet tablet. <coughs> Login as root. Reboot. There it is. Now it'll probably just do like it's been doing. It'll just log into a shell. I like that. I'll leave it like that. That's better than just that little blue and white line. Oh, we were showing it on the shutdown. Now it's booting back up. You always see the uh, BIOS information and you know how to get into BIOS and all that first, and the motherboard information as you're booting up on this machine. Yeah, now we're back. Now we're fixing the boot up. I get this thing to where I'm set. There it is. Oh, it's got a white bar at the bottom. I, I didn't see that didn't show up in the picture. I like this one. This is nice looking. But I do remember it from. I don't remember how far. I mean, I don't know if it was for doors seventeen twenty or seven. I think it's more like six, seven, and eight back in those days. I started with the Fedora five. Could have been Fedora 5. I don't know now. Been way too long. Anyway, I like it. A little busy there with that thing spinning and going back and forth, but that, that's all right. I don't like things that move around too much. They bother, they bother my eyes. They make them twitch. If it's a real, really busy thing, then it can actually give me uh, some real problems. Uh, let's see. Um, so we'll log in. And then uh, switch desk. Let's try it one more time. Switch desk mate. I wonder if it, well, let's just try it. Unknown desktop. Let's see if it needs to be capital. Nope. Okay. So since it didn't switch, it should just start as uh, XFCE. There should be a graphic application. What is all those? It says warning, first high code, errors, fatal X, X server didn't work. Huh. Probably because I was trying to switch disk and then it didn't work. That's what I'm going to guess. See if changing to XFCE. Okay, now let's see. Start X. Yeah. 
I need I should have ran it again and put XFCE in there. So installing that and I say all that does is just it's just another way of choosing your law. Oh now the def the one on top is done, which is actually the way I would like it. So I don't know why it did that. <clears throat> it did. But I have looked and looked. This time I think I'll start. We got wallet service, yeah. But why is it Let's see. Uh, I don't know what to put in there, though. I won't do that right now. It's, it's the same thing with it. Looks like an error occurred. I'm not going to fall for that again. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, there is a desktop. Something is wrong, though. The desktop doesn't have its uh, doesn't have its background. Could be because it error gave an error and then you know all that stuff i don't know but uh, surely i'd hate to have to reinstall the whole thing but if it's acting funky then i will because i want it to be dependable that's the number one thing with the server let's see um what do we got to do with mate in here mate calculator updater for applications All right, that's not going to help um, there's nothing there's no boot I guess the thing I could do is go to DNF settings editor see what's in there I think that's where I'm oh it's that's that okay session this is just for XFCE though yeah there's so there's no need to mess around in there um oh desktop sharing oh okay yeah, I was thinking about doing that anyway. So the application is starting up, but I took out the uh, unattended access password while last time I was in here. So, you know, it wouldn't have been, nobody could log in unless they, <laughs> unless you were watching, I was making a live video and you saw that right there. But you couldn't read that, I'm sure, on the 10 inch tablet video. It's, you know. But, uh, well, you still, I would have to say, okay, let them log in. But, yeah, but <clears throat> that's attended access. But, yeah, now I can get over here on the desktop. And, uh, oh, it's way behind, isn't it? How far behind is it? Way behind. Well, that's great. So the yeah the ca camera needs a break is uh, worse than I do looks like it's way behind okay so uh, I'll go ahead and get on the remote desktop right quick though before I take off yeah that's it oops. there okay yeah no no desktop background so something did break uh, act up on me but uh, can't seem to type all of a sudden well, my keys, my fingers seem to be on the home keys. Let's see. Yeah, we're, okay. Let's go into DNF and do a search for um, boot screen, you know, like boot screen or something like that. Um, 
DNF. DNF is a terrible searcher, so you have to sit there and flip between, you know, you can't just search all categories at once like you could in every other package manager I've ever used. But, uh, let's see, is it ready or not? What's it on? Well, it's on all, so I don't think it's ready yet. <clears throat> I should have a list of all apps. <coughs> Yeah, it won't even take a selection and take a click up in the search window yet. So, I need a break. The cameras need rebooting. So, that will, will be getting itself situated while I'm taking a break. And then I'll come back and try to, try to find an application I can install that will switch, that will, you know, switch the boot screen and all that stuff. I know there's it's a grub editing uh, application I used to use. Thing is, the last time I tried to use it, I think it was for door 23 and it wouldn't work. But maybe it works again now, or maybe they just quit working on it. They decided nobody's supporting it. I don't know. I don't remember the name of it. Just some grub, grub you know, boot, just something to do with the grub, uh, boot, ed boot editor, whatever, boot screen editor. But that's the grub boot screen, though. That's not the plymouth. I need to search for plymouth. That's what I need to do. Yeah, Plymouth. All right. So I'll be back after I take a break. Mm -hmm. 